Is he coming in today? Your lover, is he coming in today? I think so. But wasn't he here yesterday? He's coming in again today. Are you guys staying in or are you planning to go out? That's between us, I think. I mean, you are not part of us. Why should I tell you? No, of course not. You see, I'll, I'll tell you why I want to know about this. It's um, it's a really surprising for me. Do you think it gives me a great pleasure to know that uh, you both are here in my house, maybe spending time on my bed, maybe using my washroom, using the commode where I urinate and it gives me like sense of pleasure knowing that you are here with him. Isn't that the arrangement? Um, no, not really. I mean like that's not what I thought it would eventually turn out to be but then, but then that's what you wanted. You want you to know how it feels when I'm with him or others. I don't ask you about what you do with them, do I? Look, you're, you're getting this. How, how do I tell you now? Now, um, so what is it that you do? I mean, like it's not that you're all the time in the act, right? That's between us. I, I, I tell you why I'm asking this, okay? Because. I, I really wanted to know this and all these years that we have been together and it never did occur to you that how it would make me feel did it occur to you so if this wasn't the situation then would it still be like this you know what I'm saying right I mean, why are you saying what you're saying? Yes, he is coming in today. He might be here tomorrow. We might be going out. We might be staying in. You are most welcome to stay. And watch. Really? I mean, um, is it is it like some part of exhibition? You you want me to watch? Do you even know what you're saying? Look, I'm 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 sorry. I'll I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Okay, it's because it, it, it's really been. I don't know. I, I I can't really explain this. I just really wanted to know that. How does it feel when? I think it's. Uh, time for a change because you clearly don't have much to say so what else do you do other than fantasizing about your teenage daughter's girlfriends who wear designer brands and have their nipples thrust on your nose I'm sorry I, I, I don't do that really she's old enough to be your daughter she's old enough to be my daughter but she's not my daughter right there is a difference between the two how would you like it if I was with a man who was 15 years younger? Would that work for you? Now just because I am with a woman, I, I am a woman, 
it means that I can't be a, with a man who is that many years younger, but you being a man is fairly okay with you. Look, no, no, th th that's not what I meant. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I do this, okay? Because uh, I, I really want to know, I want to know what's playing in your mind and I want you to know me better. After all these years, after all these years, you want me to know you better? Look, I just feel that, you know, we, we, we need to understand that maybe it's this space, you know, maybe it is this place that is uh, creating this rift, this difference. Maybe if we go to another space and then maybe if we try to see how things can work out between us there, maybe it's just the environment, maybe it is just the claustrophobia. I, I don't know what you call it, but maybe it's just, it's just this, this is this us, this place. Perhaps we could go somewhere else. What do you think? I think you're talking bullshit. Look, I, I, I'll tell you, okay, so here was this person, this, this woman whom I met, and, I, and I'll tell you exactly how it happened, okay? I'll, I'll tell you what happened when I went over there. Uh, so there was this park bench, and, and, and she was sitting there, and, and, and I went up to her and I said that, um, I, I just went up to her and I said that, um, do you mind if we talk? And, and this is how she reacted, she said, No, I, I don't mind. But I, I did know that she did mind. She did not really want me to start a conversation. I'll tell you why I do this, okay? Every now and then I see somebody and I just want to start a conversation because that person is different from who I am. And it's very important for us to communicate. Is there anything wrong if I just try to communicate and just, you know, like maybe clear the air? So I just go up to her and just say that, uh, you mind. You do mind. And she looks at me and she says, I come here every Sunday in good weather. There's no one else sitting here. I have this bench all to myself. And if you do know that I do mind, then why do you ask? And then that makes me think that yes, we do know at times that maybe people do mind, maybe people don't like it, but then at the same time, we just try to strike a conversation. And I'm just trying to reach out and then she reacts, I won't say in a manner which is hostile, but then I can understand that maybe she doesn't want me to talk to her. If you think that she does not want you to talk to her, then why do you? No, it's, it's, I, I tell you why. Because every now and then I like to meet someone new and am I the guinea pig for today? Uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, do you mind if I sit here? You can sit there. There's enough space over there, you can go and sit there. Why here? Uh, but why not? There's, there's enough space for two people to be seated here, so why not? Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, hi. Uh, I've been walking north. Have I been walking north? North. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. I think that the way we walk north, it, it's, it's important for us to understand that the more we walk north, it is like it talks about being progressive. So it takes a lot to come all the way from Borivali to Andheri to Church Gate. And it's a progression, you see. Each place will come up with, come with its own dynamics. And I'll tell you why I do this, but uh, you don't mind if you talk, right? From Burivali to Andheri to Church Gate, and then here in Nariman Point. Why? Why not just in Burivali? Why not just in Andheri? What is the need to go all the way to Church Gate and then land up here in Nariman Point? It doesn't really matter what car takes you where from what, which place, but then the fact that you are driving a specific car, that's a feel-good factor. It doesn't matter whether you know your daily needs are met, but the very fact that you have that bank balance is a feel-good factor. And, and I just felt that maybe we can, perhaps, despite all the differences, maybe just communicate. Maybe you're right. Maybe we 
need a different space. Would you like it if I said, I don't want you in my space? I don't want you in my space. This is my space and I don't want you around. This is my bench and you can't have it. This is my bench and I don't want to share it with anybody. <clears throat> no, 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 you, you, you're not getting me here. Uh, this is not your bench. This is our bench. Okay. Like we have been trying to come and sit on this bench. This is not just your bench. We are trying to create this bench. Come on now, uh, share the bench with me. Move over. Stop doing that. You're hurting me. This is my bench. This is not your bench, this is our bench. And though uh, he was born dead, but then he was also going to be part of us, okay? And so this is us, this is we. This is our bench. Move over! Stop doing that! I can't move over anymore. You have pushed me enough. This is not our bench. He wasn't born. This is my bench. This is my bench and I will share it with whom I want to. I, I won't be dictated by you. I'm not going to move over. Not anymore. This, this space is not working for me. I, I, I tell you what, I, I think we really need to go and explore another space. Come with me. This is my space. I am not going to move from here. Come with me, please. I, I'm, I'm begging you, come with me. We have to go and explore another space. I, I, I'll tell you why I do this. You, you come with me. I, 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 I'll tell you things will be better. This is our bench. This is a bench that we have been creating together. Maybe another space, another place, and, and then things will get better. Come with me. Come, come, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Why don't we try it? I'm telling you, just trust me. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what happens, okay? It, it, it's, it's not just a whip, it's just not a span. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm doing this, because even if it's a slap, it's a touch, right? Why would you just like me to touch you gently? And, and once I touch you the manner that I want to, I'm telling you, it's the, 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 the embrace is going to be a lot more genuine. You, you'll give in, you, you'll submit yourself, and I'll submit myself to you. Why, don't, why can't we just try it? Look here. You don't have my consent. Consent? That's what you think. No, but I'm telling you that it's just not a matter of consent. It's a matter of trying out. It's exploring, you see. That's, that's just there in your mind and in your sick mind. This, this can't be a way of exploring. It's my body. I understand it's your body, but then you haven't really been there before. So how do you know that it won't work if you don't try it? You just have to submit. And I'll tell you why I do it. Because I have been there before, I have tried it before, and it, and it works. I know it works, you have to trust me. Trust you. Everything was planned. Every single move was planned. From Burebli to Andheri to Churchgate, everything was planned. And then I felt that why these dividing lines? Why this separation between the first class and the second class? Why can't we all just travel together? Just imagine when the blast happens, you will have bones and skin and skeleton from the first class combined with the second class and then everyone is being leveled. Then we don't kind of think about the separation. I, I can understand that this idea of the classes is really mind boggling, it's mind fucking, but then you have to trust. You have to understand where I'm coming from. I have tried that. It's not that I have not tried. I know where you're coming from, but this, this is not going to work. Please. Let me try to tell you this, okay? It, it, it's, it's not what it seems to be. It's, this is not just another whip, you know? It's, it's not something that I want to 
hurt you, wait. You, you, you are hurting me. You don't get this, right? I am not hurting you. I'm just trying to communicate. I'm trying to express. You're trying to express in this way. You have to just allow me. You have to submit yourself. And I'll tell you why I do this. It's important for us to walk north or northerly or what we understand as progress. Have you ever thought why is it that some people have it and some don't? It's not possible for the haves and have nots to be together, no matter how much we think in a very utopian style. But no, it, there is a dividing line. You're right. There is a dividing line. And the lines are divided. And we have explored enough. Besides, I don't need you. I have him. <laughs> of course you have him. So I've always wondered, why do you like him so much? Just because all it does is that it just wags his tail? Is that all? Because it can't retaliate? All it is looking for is affection? There is a certain kind of relation that we create with them, with those creatures. You look at them in the eye and there is an instant epiphany. Is that what you call it? An instant epiphany. You tell them, Tommy, up. And you so happily see them going up. And then you tell them, Tommy, crawl. And then you so happily see them crawl. They try to crawl on all fours, of course. And then you try to shake hands, not shake hands, of course, your hand and their paw. And that touch is more genuine, warm. That is why you like them. That is why we have them. That is why we have the pet. I have said this earlier. I've said this before. And I'm telling you again, because it merits repetition. You are sick. I am sick. Let me tell you how I had this planned. Every single move was planned. I knew where we are going with this. Every single move was planned. At first I thought that maybe I need to become its friend. That is perhaps what it wants. So I went and then I felt that I need to be friends with a dog. But how do you just become friends with a dog? You look at it in the eye. And then, you know what I wanted to do with it. Because it was closer to you than I was. And you needed it when he was dead. He was born dead. You wanted it to occupy that space that I wanted to create with you. But then you needed them as well. I did not need them. It was you who first had your affairs with them. And then you can't blame me. My ego is hurt. I feel that if you can, why can't I? And that is how this, 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 this starts. You know, I, I just don't understand this. Why do you need to just because I did? Why not? Why didn't you think what I would be going through? You have to understand this. That bench is not yours. That bench is created by both of us. That bench belongs to both of us. You have to know this. You have to know where I'm coming from. I did not really need them. I used them. But you needed them. How do I feel that your lover is here when I'm not here? Using my bed, both of you on my bed, using my commode, being there where I be. I mean, how am I supposed to feel about it? But I thought this was the arrangement. I thought we had this agreement. That's what you think. That's not what I said. Of course, I did not want to interfere. Interfere? Is he coming in again today? I thought he was here yesterday. Didn't you have enough when he was here yesterday? Do we ever have enough? Do you have enough? I don't understand this. Is this a game for you? Is it like some kind of a challenge? Every time you come across someone new, you need to explore. 
I think it is a game for you. You want to know what is happening in their minds. You want to know that where this is going to lead to. Someone new, a new smell, new perfume. You want to feel a new body every time. Though it leads to the same, right? <laughs> it's, it's not that. How do I even explain it? You don't have to explain it. So how do you feel when you know that your teenage daughters, girlfriends have their designer brands, wearing their designer brands and have their nipples thrust on your nose? It's not that. That is not how it worked between us. But we were talking about it. The it that you needed to kind of, you know, like occupy this space because he was born dead. So I'll tell you what I did with it. I looked at the dog and the dog looked at me and there it was standing with an absolute malevolent erection looking at me and I looked at the dog and the dog looked at me and then just at that moment I thought what if we can now create a relation some sort of a relationship that can develop from here from the dog looking at me and I looking at the dog and then I tried to be friends with the dog so I got I, I, I got the dog hamburger and, and then I, I, I went near the dog and I gave the dog hamburger and the dog looked at me and then with this malevolent direction it just snarled and then once I did that, I just realized that just like you, even this dog does not want me to communicate. It's important for us to communicate. It's important for us to communicate and develop some sort of a relationship with our, with our daily wear, with our, with, with our clothes, with our with the tissue paper. With the tissue paper, no, not with the tissue paper, that checks bleeding. But then you understand what I mean, right? It's, it's important for us to create this relationship. So I still looked at the dog and I tried to give the dog hamburger. And here was this dog, sent from hell to guard you. The dog looked at me, and I looked at the dog. And then at the second attempt, it just again went and snarled at me. And I was there, and I was wondering that what is wrong with this creature? I see how this creature behaves with you, which is so different from the way this creature is behaving with me. Why? Even this creature is seeing a difference between us. And then I tried again. And this time I did what I did. You, you did what you did. So, you mean that it was you who did what you did? And I often wonder that, how did this happen? And then you pretended. You said that you felt bad about it. You said that you felt sad about it. But you did not because you did it. I looked at the dog and the dog looked at me. And this time, I saw the dog down the hamburger and it ate the hamburger. <laughs> And that is what I wanted. That is exactly what I tried doing. I wanted to poison the dog. Because I did not want it to come between us. But then, you did what you did. And you brought him, them. Why? And, and I'll tell you why I do this. Every now, every once in a day, I just try to interact with someone, talk to somebody, because it's important for me to just get to know them. That is all my intention is. I, I want to know what, where they are coming from, their culture, what they have to bring on the table, and how I can grow from my interaction, from my association with them. Grow? That's what you call it? No, you, you, you have to understand this. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's not going to inflict any pain. It's just that it's going to get us more closer to each other. And I'll tell you why I do this. Because 
it's, it's not really a matter of pain, you know. It's, it's not really a matter of sting, you know. It's, it's just that the more you do this, the more you do it, you can feel the embrace is a lot more genuine. The kiss is a lot more beautiful. So which is why I'm telling you just let me do this again. But you just don't want to comply. But why not? It is dead. It is not alive anymore. There is no one else between us. Let's try it again. Please. Is he coming again? Your lover? Oh! So, uh, are you guys uh, staying in or going out? We don't do it always. There are days when we just talk, connect. Oh, really? But I thought the entire idea of being a lover was that you treat him like a functionary. That he's there for a specific purpose. If it was a matter of connecting, then why did you need him? If it was a matter of talking why did you even need it why couldn't we achieve that because i keep wondering what else do you do other than fantasizing about your daughter's teenage girlfriends who wear designer brands and have their nipples thrust on your nose it happened once she may be as old as her, but then she's not my daughter. There's a difference. Of course there's a difference. You never had a daughter. And he was born dead. So why are you saying this? After all these years, why are you bringing it up? Am I bringing it up? Am I the only one bringing it up? This is my bench. And you can't have it. But why? I, I have come here for years. I've come here every Sunday afternoon, good weather. There is no one else sitting out here. This bench is empty. And today you just push me out of my own bench. Not your own bench. My bench. Our bench. We were supposed to create this together, remember? This is our bench and I, I can't let you have this all by yourself. Okay. Fight for it then. Fight? Not with you. I, I can't fight with you. Why not? Just because I am what I am, who I am. Fight for your bench. Okay. But not in this space. Because the space matters. I'll, I'll tell you what, things become different when we shift spaces. Things are different when we are in one place. When we are at one space, things are different when you are in the office. Things are different when you are in the school. Things are different when you are with your family. And the minute the space shifts, even people become different. Don't you think so? We will do this, but not in this space. At another given space.
come with me. You, you have to understand. Why don't you try to understand? Why don't you try to see where I am coming from? Why is it just you? Why does it have to be only you? Why can't it be what I have to communicate? Communicate? Isn't that what this is all about? Communicate? If you talk about communication, why do we just see this? We see this. See, see, see what is there for us. We see this. See, see for yourself. You talk about communication, just see this. See for yourself, see what this has to say. See what this has to communicate. You have the eyes, but do you see? And you talk about communication. You have to understand this. I'll get this clear. Once and for all. This is my bench. This is not our bench. This is not what we created together. This is my bench and you can't have it. I've been to the zoo. I said, I've been to the zoo. Hey ma'am, I said I've been to the zoo. Uh, I'm sorry for you talking to me. I, I've been to the zoo and I've been walking north. Have I been walking north? I, I think so. And, and, and w w what is that cross street there? Not even cars? I, I've been wanting to go and reach one of those apartments over there. Can you help me? Not even cars. Where are you coming from? How, how does it matter where I'm coming from? I've been walking north. I've been trying to walk north. It's not easy, okay? It's easy to walk down south, but it's difficult to walk up north. But I've been trying to walk north. I, I, I really want to go and live in one of those apartments out there. Will you help me? Can, can we do this together? I, I don't know where you're coming from. I don't know you. I don't know who you are. It's not really easy to just simply go to an apartment in Narvan cars. I don't understand about you walking north. Don't you? Or is it that you don't really want to? Uh, do you mind if I sit here? No. I, I don't mind. Of course you do. And I'll tell you why I do this. Every now and then I just want to communicate. I just want to reach out. I just want to interact. I, I want to go to this person. I just want to know all about her. And, and uh, move over. If you don't go, then I'll, I'll call the police, okay? They won't be able to hear you. They never want to hear you. They only want to hear you when they want to hear you. But right now, they don't want to hear you. If you, if you call out to them, they won't be able to hear you. They don't want to hear you. Look, I don't care whether this makes any sense or not. You can't have this bench. This is my bench. You can... Look, I, I warn you. I, I'm going to call the police. Why don't you do that? By all means, try doing that and let's see what, what happens then. Move over! Stop doing that! Police! 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 I said police! I don't care whether this makes any sense to you or not. You can't do that to me. You, you can't hurt me like that. What gives you the right? Look, I don't care whether this makes any sense to you or not. That is my bench. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. Why should this be just your bench? Why can't this be our bench? Why not? Why can't we just create this bench together? We have tried it once before. It didn't work, but then we can try it again. 
This is our bench and both of us can have it. This doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know who you are. Where did you come from? This is my bench and you can't have it. Please! You look ridiculous. I don't care. I feel ridiculous. You wanted to fight, right? Get up and fight. What? Fight? Me? You? Look, every Sunday afternoon in good weather I come here. There's no one else sitting out here. I have this bench all to myself. I don't know who you are. You can't hurt me like this. I don't want to fight you. I can't fight you. Why do you say that? Even that, that, that will have a physical contact. Maybe, you know, like our bodies will collide and then maybe you will feel that maybe, perhaps, we can create this bench together. Let's do this. Let's try doing this. Let's, let us try creating this bench together. Look. Look, look, look. I, 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 what do I have this, okay? It can't hurt. It, it, it really can't hurt. Really? Finally. You have now become what it was. It's just that you're on two legs and not on four. So be it. Come. I came on you. Ah! Finally, my bench. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. And I thank my friends who have helped me put this up together. I'll ask Shadow to tell us a bit about Gary Orca and uh, you being present out here, this really means a lot to me. Thank you. I can very well see all of us fell down and enchanted by what we have just experienced. So let's have a warm round of applause for the great. Thank you.